What's up, Greg? I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to my channel. This, of course, is another episode of an attempt. I will be making an attempt to do something very strange. It might work, it might not, but one thing's for sure, it will be an attempt. So if you're a frequent viewer of my channel and you saw the title of this video, there's a good chance you probably already know what this is about. But if you're new here or you're just not familiar with the Paul Zimmer, Troy Becker situation, basically I've been covering this dude uh, named Paul Zimmer who was basically super popular on TikTok and then he left because of a controversy, he stopped posting and then tried to come back pretending to be a different person. But the thing is, he didn't even try to make himself look different. He didn't even try to make himself seem like a different person. I've been thinking a lot about how little effort Paul Zimmer put into trying to make himself seem like a different person. So I thought, hey, why not try to do this? I'm gonna do what Paul Zimmer was trying to do with the Troy Becker thing, but actually try. Because to be fair, I made fun of him a lot for not trying at all. But when you really think about it, if you really did try to become a whole different person, when you already have a pretty big following, would that even work? Is it possible to change your identity on social media and get away with it. So my goal is to make up a new identity, basically just invent a new person. I'm gonna give him an Instagram and then try to get as many of my followers to follow that Instagram as I possibly can without it being revealed that it's really just me. Right now, as I'm filming this, it is three o'clock on January 8th. And I am planning on posting this video, hopefully before the end of January. So I've got like a little less than a month to work on this. I'm gonna say over the course of a month, like a really successful implementation of this would get my other Instagram account up to like 10,000. It's not like, whoa, you're super famous now, but it is like, it's a, it's a healthy dose of clout. It's a, it's a spoonful of clout. And if I could do that in a month, I think that would be successful. The other aspect of this though, is to make this as easy as possible for me. Because originally I was thinking this will be pretty easy to do if I hire like a professional makeup artist to just make me look different or like prosthetics or something on my face, this is gonna be a piece of cake. But if I'm really trying to do what Paul Zimmer was trying to do, where this could be a feasible thing that I, I actually continue with, I can't just hire a makeup artist every time I wanna post on this new account. So I have to make this as easy as possible while also being as convincing as possible. So my two goals are easy disguise and 10,000 followers. Will I be able to do it? I have no idea. I'm really worried the second I post the first picture of this dude, all of the comments are just gonna be like, that's you. What are you trying to do? That's obviously you. From there, I concocted the perfect plan to fool the internet. I knew from the start I would have to have a convincing reason to be shouting some random person out on my Instagram. But luckily, a few weeks prior, I had posted on Twitter and Instagram that I was looking to hire someone to help me shoot and edit videos. So, my followers wouldn't be too surprised if a new intern of mine started to show up in my Instagram posts. I gave this mysterious editor the name Zayden Longzan, or just Zayden Long for short. When unscrewed, the letters of this name spell out my own name. I thought this would be kind of clever and a cute touch to my evil plan. All right, good news everybody. Papa got a wig. I also needed to develop a convincing disguise. To disguise my hair, I decided to go with a wig. This way, both Zayden's hair color and length would be drastically different than my own. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what, if, what if this was just my disguise? Hey guys, it's me, Zayden Long. That was kind of right. Okay. I look like 2006 Smosh. Is, it, is this believable? I don't even know if this is on the right way. Maybe this is the front. Yeah, that's definitely on backwards. To avoid wearing any of my own clothes while acting as Zayden, I took a trip to Kohl's and headed straight for the clearance section, where I picked up a few items that I would never be caught dead wearing. And apparently no one else would either because they were on clearance. This part was pretty fun because I got to decide what kind of person Zayden would be. Does he like Rick and Morty, Scooby-Doo, or shirts with lame math jokes? The answer was none of them. With my new wardrobe in place, the only thing left to figure out was how I was going to disguise my face. Since my big fat nose is so prominent, I knew I would surely need to do something drastic to alter my face. That's when I remembered that FaceApp, the app that everyone was using to make themselves look old last year, has features that allow you to change your face in different ways. So I took a picture of myself, trying to smile like someone else, and got to work trying to make myself look as different as possible. The beards looked pretty convincing, but I ultimately decided to utilize a feature that lets you merge your face with a celebrity's face. Here you can see me trying it with Justin Bieber and Adam Driver. Look at that! That looks like a different person. He's got different eye color. He's got uh, he's got facial hair. He's got black eyebrows. I mean, if, if you saw that, would you think that's a different person? <laughs> this is my face merged with Tom Holland. It just made me look like a baby. After a few more attempts, I tried merging my face with Chris Evans. And that's 
when things got crazy. Whoa, wait, okay, look at this. That looks like a totally different person. It's as if me and Captain America himself had a baby. The beard helped so much, it changed his hairline. I think that might be the winner. <laughs> This is me mixed with Post Malone. So with my full disguise ready to go, it was time to get a move on and craft my first image. All right, gang, it's time to craft the first image. So for each and every picture that I post with Zayden, I kind of have to have like a backstory or like a reason for taking the picture. Like what's going on during this picture? Why are we taking a picture? That way it's believable, you know? I'm not just posting things for no reason. So the backstory that I've come up with for this picture is it's sort of like a celebratory picture. I just hired my first employee. My shooter and editor Zayden is now working for for me. All right, well, let's do it. Oh, Note to self, this little iPhone grippy, it pinches fingers. First, I took a few pictures of me as myself smiling, and then it was Zayden's turn. Now it's time to change into Zayden for the first time. Getting into character for the first time was tough, both physically and emotionally. But once I was there, acting as Zayden felt almost natural, like it was somehow meant to be. <laughs> Okay, I was, I was thinking I should probably make a different smile than I usually make. So I tried to make a different smile and I <laughs> ended up looking super fucking creepy. I'm really growing through a lot of trouble here. I really hope that this works and doesn't immediately backfire and fail. All right, well, only one way to find out. While editing the first image, I decided to not only use FaceApp to combine my face with Chris Evans, but also use Photoshop Fix to make even more alterations to my face, like narrowing my nose and adjusting my jawline, in hopes that altering the shape of my face would further add to the illusion that I was Zayden. After all this effort, I thought I would be as confident as ever to post the picture. But unfortunately for me, I was wrong. All right, so the picture's done. I'm done editing it. I'm not as confident in it as I thought I would be. When I look at it, I still see me, and I don't know if that's because I know that it's me or because it actually looks like me. Well, now, I don't know. Now I'm looking at it again and it looks fine to me. It, it doesn't look like me anymore. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just, I'll just post it. If anyone at all says like, Hey, that's, that's just you, you just edited yourself. I'm gonna take it down right away and, and figure out a different plan moving forward. My confidence in this is so fragile that if even one person sees through it, I'm, I'm done. I have to figure out something else and uh, try it again in a different way. There's no way this is gonna work. I don't wanna post this. <laughs> okay, I gotta figure out a caption. Expect some more production value in my videos very soon. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so you can see both of our laptops. I don't wanna post this. Okay, I'm gonna post it. Expect some more production value. Expect some higher production value, maybe? Yeah. I'm, s I'm second guessing this so much. Uh, okay. I'm gonna post it. Here we go, your story. Okay, posting now. And there's Curtis. For this first post, I decided not to tag Zayden, and I didn't even create his account yet, because I mostly just wanted to test the waters and draw as little suspicion as possible. It's been seen by... 10 people. I'm gonna monitor my DMs like crazy to see if anybody's DMing me, telling me I'm a con man. It looks fake. Oh, it looks fake. I just looked at it again. I've been looking at it for too long. I've gone insane. Just then, my worst fears were realized. I got a DM asking if my Instagram story was the result of cloning. Oh fuck, okay. Nope, 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 nope. I'm really growing through a lot of trouble here. I really hope that this works. It doesn't immediately backfire and fail. Okay, I've already got, okay, nope, I gotta delete it. Deleting it, oh shit. Oh no. Danny, is that you? I'm stressed. I thought the guy on the left was you with a photoshopped beard. <laughs> no, no. I'm really worried the second I post the first picture of this dude, all of the comments are just gonna be like, that's you. All right, deleted that real quick. He looks like your long lost twin. Wow, all of the DMs, all of my DMs were wow, that's just you. Jesus, man. Oh God, I just, I just got owned so hard. Okay, so I guess new plan, we're starting over and we're doing something else. I don't know what we're gonna do. It's good that I was monitoring my DMs so that I could see immediately. Cause within the first minute I got like, I got seven DMs right away that were like, that's you. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't just leave that up. So we're gonna, we're gonna try again it, a different way. <clears throat> All right, uh, <laughs> when I posted that initial picture, it was Friday. It is now Monday. I took the entire weekend to think about my actions and how disappointed I am in myself. And now I've regrouped and I'm ready to try this again. So there's some good news and bad news from this situation. The good news is that when I posted this picture on my story, only about a hundred people saw it. So I was thinking, okay, 
this this will be fine. I'll just delete that. Forget that ever happened. Uh, I'll just you know mix my face with a different celebrity, Photoshop it a little bit different, and I'll try again tomorrow and see if that works. But the bad news is. I did not anticipate the first 100 people who saw that story screenshotting it and spreading it all over Twitter. I guess I thought that people would just see it and be like, ooh, that's weird and forget about it. But a bunch of people have screenshotted the picture and are now tweeting it at me constantly. So now I feel like anytime I post someone new on my Instagram story, those people are going to immediately know that something is up. So I kind of spent the entire weekend feeling like I basically failed this experiment before I really even started it. And for a while, I was thinking, I'm just gonna scrap this idea. It's not worth it. It's not worth the trouble because enough people have seen the picture now that I've basically failed the challenge. The, the challenge was for no one to notice that it's me. And everyone noticed. Every single person that saw the picture noticed. And I didn't even get him any followers. I didn't get the new account any followers. Uh, cause I didn't even make it. It was a giant fail on my part. I felt like a royal doofus. But then, I began to see it as a blessing. I needed to learn the hard way that if I wanted this to work, I had to do a lot more than just sit in my dining room and take a few pictures. So that's when I devised a new plan. I decided to scrap the entire editor idea. It was never going to work, and past Danny was an idiot and a coward for thinking anything else. Instead of hiring an editor, I was going to make it look like I was going on a trip to see my cousin at his house in rural Illinois. By making Zayden my cousin, hopefully people would be much more forgiving if he heavily resembled me. So, to make this as convincing as possible, I got an Airbnb B for two days so I could take pictures at Zayden's house without it looking like my house. After that, I packed up and it was off to my cousin's house. All right, so I booked an Airbnb. I've arrived at the Airbnb. Now I'm at the Airbnb. Feels a little bit weird to be at an Airbnb by myself, especially since I'm not even staying here. I'm just here to take pictures. This house also kind of creeps me out. It kind of looks like it was built over a hundred years ago and I'm a little afraid to go upstairs. So I'll probably be doing most of the pictures down here because I'm kind of worried that this house is haunted. I also thought I heard voices when I first walked in. So that's also concerning. Okay, and that's kind of creepy. I just found a long dark hair on my tripod. How the fuck? Did that get here? All right, let's get it. All right, so I'm back at the Airbnb. It's day two. I'm ready to take some more pictures, son. When I got here today, there was a light on upstairs that I did not leave on. I am certain that this house is haunted. I don't want to go up there, but I have to for the pictures I want to take today, so we're gonna brave it together. Yeah, this house is for sure haunted. Look at these stairs. There's no way someone didn't die on these stairs. I spent those two days doing nothing but planning and taking pictures of myself and Zayden. I knew my old antics just wouldn't cut it, so I decided to go all in, fully immersing myself in the role I knew I was born to play. I ate as Zayden, drank as Zayden, and thought as Zayden. But the real work of convincing the public that Zayden was in fact real was yet to come. All right guys, well after pussyfooting around it for a few weeks, I'm ready to have another go at it. I'm gonna try posting some images. I'm spinning in my chair. I'm not meaning to do this. Uh, the chair is just spinning. I'm ready to buckle down and make these pictures and post them on Instagram, so here's my plan. First thing I'm gonna do is post an Instagram story of just me using one of the pictures that I took at the Airbnb, saying something along the lines of, I'm in rural Illinois visiting family, something implying that. Maybe like, ayo, a rural Illinois check. But just to precondition people to think, okay, Danny's not at home, where is he? He's probably off doing something. Who's he with? Is that suspicious? I feel like I never post about my location like this on Instagram, so people will immediately know that I'm lying and up to something. Should I make it not Illinois? Should it be somewhere more exciting? Ayo, rural Minnesota check. Sure, maybe I'll be in Minnesota. Okay, so that's where Zayden lives, rural Minnesota. Let me just check my DMs real quick and make sure no one's no one's causing a fuss. Like I I no, I checked Minnesota. You're not there. Okay. No, I'm getting I'm getting the good DMs. Like, whoa, why are you in Minnesota? But before I post him at all, the first thing I want to make is his his Instagram account. I haven't set up his Instagram yet. Zayden underscore is underscore long. Uh, I'm gonna make him my older cousin. So I'm gonna make his birthday in 1992, April 1st. His birthday is gonna be on April Fool's Day because all of you are gonna be April Fools for believing this. To make his Instagram account look more believable, I also needed to follow a bunch of random people. So I just went to a couple small colleges Instagram pages, went to the list of people following them and just followed a bunch of people. Might as well give some of the homies an extra follow too. Drew, Curtis. Shoot, I'll give Gus an extra follow. What the heck? Zayden can like good content, right? Bio, born to be Zayden. Born to be sauce. Why did Zayden autocorrect to sauce? Born to be sauce. All right, I'm just gonna leave it. That sounds kind of cool. <laughs> 
Bitch, I was born to be sauce. Chris Evans really burned me before, and I never make the same mistake twice. So when crafting Zayden's Instagram profile picture, I decided to use Tom Brady's face this time. Tom Brady's eyebrows and overall complexion seemed different enough from mine, and I was pretty happy with the end result. From there, I threw together the first image of Zayden that I would be posting on my story. Okay guys, the image is done. The first image that is prepared to go on my story is done, I think. And I'm pretty pleased with the final image. In fact, I even sent it to Laura, and she approves, and if anyone knows what my face looks like, it is my own wife. So I'm still very hesitant, but I think I'm ready to post the picture. Will I make a complete fool of myself once again? We're about to find out right now. For the caption, maybe I can play off the previous uh, story, so I can say like, Ayo, rural cousin check. That way people will immediately understand, okay, he's in Minnesota because he's visiting his rural cousin, Zayden. Should I tag him in the first one? We're, I, I'm just gonna tag him in the first one. Before, I was I was testing the waters by not tagging him, but this, well, I'm not doing this again, okay? This is, we're going all or nothing this time. So I'm not I'm not testing the waters. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna tag Zayden. I'll do it just as I would tag anyone else. Zayden is long. I'm just gonna throw that right there, as if it's not even a big deal. Just making it pretty small on the screen. And fuck, oh god damn it, it looks like me! Oh, it'll never not look like me. And posted. Oh god, have people seen it yet? Okay, two people have seen it, six people have seen it, 12 people have seen it. Oh baby boy. People are gonna know, aren't they? Oh, Zayden has two followers now. Three, even. Me and two other people. All right, let me check my DMs. No! The first DM I get about it is, look the same. Look the same? Hey. Look the same. I thought this was you in a wig. God damn it! No! Oh no! Okay. But, but, they're not saying this is you in a wig. They're saying, I thought that was you in a wig, which is good. God, my heart is beating so fast right now. Why is this, why does this mean so much to me? Okay, I'm getting surprisingly few DMs though. That's, that's good. Because this story has now been seen by a thousand people and I've only gotten two DMs. I would say that that's good because last time I got a bunch, I think, didn't I? I'm feeling better about this. Okay, before I post the second picture, I want to, you know, infuse a little bit more realism to it. And a lot of times on my Instagram story, when I go to a new place, I like to post sitting on a big comfy couch on this new couch. So since I'm in this new location, I feel like it only makes sense for me to post that I'm sitting on a big comfy couch. All right, we got photo number two complete. This one is a beautiful uh, image of Zayden flipping me off because I'm razzing him. So I think the tone of this one is gonna be a little bit kind of like messing with him while also trying to get more people to go over and follow him. As of right now, I think Zayden has like 50 followers. I wanna try to increase that, baby. We're trying to get Zayden a big heaping spoonful of that clout for dinner. Okay, the caption I came up with is, my cousin thinks he has what it takes to be an IG model. Please tell him he wouldn't last one day with clout. And then I tagged his Instagram. If I know my followers, I know a good chunk of them will turn against me and take his side. So I'm hoping that he'll gain a decent amount of followers from this. And post. Uh, I'm now realizing that the two pictures of my cousin don't really look like the same person, per se. I don't know how that happened, but that's not good. Like, they kind of have different hairstyles and honestly different skin tones. So hopefully people will look past that uh, and just go straight for his Instagram. Okay, this person said he kind of looks like if you and Drew had a child together. How about me and Tom Brady, honey? Oh shit, okay. This person says, is that actually your cousin or is it just an edited picture of you? I literally can't tell. All right, I'm gonna count this as I'm still winning because she said she literally can't tell. Another person said, I swear at first I thought this was you with a wig. You hear that? At first. So needless to say, I'm feeling pretty damn good about this right now. Oh shit, baby, Zayden Long? has 117 followers. We're doing it now, son. Okay, people are DMing Zayden to tell him that he doesn't have what it takes to be an Instagram model. You wouldn't last one day with Cloud. You won't last a day, even with Cloud or not. Okay, I think this person just threatened Zayden, so that's not good. Oh my God, this is, uh, this is so stressful. Uh, but it is fulfilling. I do feel fulfilled right now. That night, I posted two more pictures on my story, all to a pretty solid response from my followers. So, with hope in my heart, I tucked myself in for a good night's rest. And woke up the next morning, ready to continue this sick and twisted charade. Oh, hot dang, son! Zayden now has... 2,000 followers on Instagram, and he ain't even got any posts yet. Of course, people are messaging him that they think he wouldn't last one day with Cloud. One person is encouraging Zayden to kill me and take my place. 
What the hell? Actually, a lot of people have been hitting on Zaynan. You do got that IG model type dough with a fire emoji. Someone said, you're hot. Someone said, here before 100K. That's right, baby. We're getting Zayden to 100K. Next up was a rendition of my classic I wear a yellow shirt today Instagram story. This is something I do whenever I wear this striped yellow shirt that I own. I take pictures of myself from a distance and caption them, I wear a yellow shirt today. But this time, I let my old cousin Zayden get in on the action. And with those stories up and most people buying it, it was time to start on my riskiest task yet. I was going to post a picture on my actual Instagram feed. Since this picture would reach many more people than my stories, I knew Zayden would get a good boost in followers if this looked good. But if it didn't, the jig would be up and I'd be out of luck. So maybe we should let past Danny work on this for a bit while we talk about today's sponsor, HelloFresh. Guys, one of my least favorite parts about being an adult is going to the grocery store to buy all the food that I'm gonna eat that week only to remember that I only know how to cook like three things. But that's why I think that HelloFresh is such a great service. It takes all the pressure off of planning your meals for the week so that you can just enjoy cooking and eating. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit and their meals are delicious. And with low calorie, vegetarian, and family friendly recipes, HelloFresh has something to offer for pretty much anyone, no matter what kind of diet you have, whether you live alone or whether you have a family. Recipes only take about 30 minutes to make, sometimes as little as 20, which is less than the average trip to the grocery Store. I love getting HelloFresh boxes in the mail because it means I get to spend 20 to 30 minutes cooking with Laura each evening. It's really fun to cook with someone else. We just like throw on some music and have a little party. And every time you cook something new, you get to learn a new recipe. If you're like me, then you're probably worried about your impact on the environment. Well, HelloFresh's carbon footprint is actually 25% less than store-bought grocery-made meals. But how much is this HelloFresh, you ask? Well, HelloFresh is now starting at just $5.66 per serving. Where else can you get such taste? Tasty, tasty food for such a good price. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code TRULYGREG10 during HelloFresh's New Year's sale to get 10 meals for free, including free shipping. It's TRULYGREG10 on HelloFresh.com to get 10 free meals with free shipping during their New Year's sale. It's a great service. I heavily endorse HelloFresh. So thank you guys for checking out HelloFresh and thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. All right. Back to the action. So right now, Zayden has 2,343 followers. So hopefully by posting this as an actual Instagram picture, we can get him a couple more. Okay, so I tagged Zayden in it. Uh, now I gotta think of a caption. Maybe I wanna include something like it's my cousin's birthday. That would give me a reason to be shouting him out and also for me to be visiting him. My cousin's only birthday wish is to be an Instagram model. Please donate as much clout as you see fit. My only worry is that since this isn't a story and it's a picture, there's comments. And so if people read the comments and there are other people saying this looks weird in photos, Shop. Even people who didn't initially think that will start to think that because they'll see other people's comments But I have a plan for that too on your Instagram You can block words from showing up in your comments Like if you're sensitive about certain things or you just don't want to see comments about certain things You can just add them to your blocked words list So I think I'm gonna add a bunch of words like Photoshop and Photoshop and wig to the blocked words list That way no one can comment about those things so people who aren't suspicious won't have it ruined for them You might think that that's shady uh, and it is. All right, and share, and okay, it's up. I spent the next few hours monitoring the comments like a crazy person and adding words to my list of blocked words. As you can see, I ended up having to block a fair amount of words, but the result was a squeaky clean comment section. Uh, okay, now time to check out the comments and see if people are suspicious. We got clapping, I can't tell are you wearing a yellow shirt, just a reference to my Instagram story, true icons, if he wants to be an Instagram model, he should post photos on his account, seems a little counterproductive, okay. Is there a Go find me to donate cloud. Oh baby, this is good. This is go. Oh my gosh. This is going so much better. All right guys, it's been three hours since I posted the picture on my Instagram and I'm starting to think we might get away with this. Low key, this is going pretty well. It actually is going a lot better than I expected. I mean, it's probably because I blocked all the words that would allow people to comment their suspicions about this picture. But scrolling through the comments, they all seem to be focused on other things besides the fact that it's just me with a wig. Everyone's being pretty supportive of Zayden. I'm actually, I'm pleasantly surprised. So I guess now we'll just wait and see what tomorrow brings. I am excited. All right, guys, the experiment is over. I'm cutting it here, it's the next day. I gave it all night for Zayden to gain followers, so now it's time to see how many he's got and to see how I did with my stupid little experiment. So before I check Zayden's follower count, remember that my two goals were for Zayden to hit 10,000 followers without anyone figuring out that it was just me. And then the second one was for this to be as easy as possible. I'm searching up Zayden. And... Oh shit, baby! Zayden Long has 12.5 thousand followers. God damn! 12. 
1.5K. So for goal number one of hitting 10,000 followers, I, I actually got like 120%. That's like a, that's like a A plus plus. Plus. That's like an A plus plus plus. That being said though, there was the other condition of the goal where I didn't want anyone to figure out that it was actually me. And I'm pretty sure a decent amount of people caught on. If not to the fact that it was me, at least to the fact that like the pictures were photoshopped in some way or there was something weird going on. So maybe I'll just mark this down to like an A plus plus and maybe change this to 110%. That seems more fair. All right, goal number two. Was this an easy process? Did I make this as easy for myself as possible so that I could redo this over and over indefinitely forever? For this one, I'm gonna give myself, I'm gonna give myself a solid D minus. A good old 60% if you will. Now editing the pictures themselves wasn't actually that hard. It took around like 10 minutes per picture. Some of them took a little longer, but in general they took about 10 minutes, which isn't too bad, but if I ever wanted to do like a video with Zayden, I don't know how, in God's name, I would do that. <laughs> I guess I could try like taking a video and then exporting each individual frame as a picture, then putting those all on my phone, and then manually using FaceApp on each individual picture. But even a one second video would be like 30 pictures. So what is that? 300 minutes, which would be five hours, and also it would probably end up looking like shit. So yeah, ease of use gets a D minus. All right, so what's my final score? If I average these out, 110 plus 60 is 170, divided by two is a solid 85%. That's like a B. Huh. A B. Really? That seems like really generous. You know what? Just to be fair, I'm gonna knock it down to a B minus because I, I really didn't feel that good about this. Yeah, especially considering the fact that I failed the first time and I had to delete a bunch of comments and block all of the words that were used in those comments. I'm definitely feeling a B minus. Like I passed and I did all right, but it was not an A plus job. You know what, I'm gonna give myself a C. This still, I, the more I think about it. I don't, I don't deserve a B. I did a, I got, I get a C. I pass, but I'm not feeling great about it. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was actually really fun to make. If you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. That's what I call my subscribers. And I even have hoodies that say Greg on it because I'm a YouTuber. All right, thank you Nameless for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where I peel off my skin and I was really Paul Zimmer the whole time. Bye. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. Go find something else to watch. Or just watch this video. I know we had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. Woo. But you can't stay on this end screen forever. No. This video is over now. Yeah. So why are you still watching this?